Hey everyone, it's Tira with Rent Mason Bees. Today, I am bringing you out to our wood shop. You haven't seen this in any of our videos yet, but our wood shop is where the magic happens of making our mason bee nesting blocks, our leaf cutter bee nesting blocks, and our black houses. We do it all in our wood shop. We have a couple different locations. We divide and conquer because there's a lot of woodworking that we do. But today, I wanted to show you about our leaf cutters. We spend a lot of time talking about mason bees, and I've never shown you how we take care of our leaf cutter bees. So today, we're gonna to talk about that. Um, first off, I wanted to start with our sterilized, clean leaf cutter blocks. We paint them black so that it attracts the sunshine, and we will send you your leaf cutter block um, with the leaf cutter kit, or when you get the pollinator package, you'll get a leaf cutter block as well. So those are all ready to go for next season. And then in this big box, we have all of your leaf cutter blocks that you've returned to us. So these are all from our hosts that have rented bees. And you can see they are all full of leaf cutter bees. So I wanted to show you how we harvest our leaf cutter bees. And it's a super high tech, very interesting tool. Come with me. So. Instead of our bob harvester that harvests mason bee cocoons, we have a machine that does that. Our super high-tech machine is Nina and all of our other volunteers that come and help. We extract our leaf cutter bees by hand. They are super fragile in the leaf state. Um, mason bees and leaf cutter bees are different. Mason bees spin a silken cocoon and hibernate in the silken cocoon and then emerge early spring. Leaf cutter bees lay a larvae. So each one of these cells has a tiny little leaf cutter larvae inside each cell. And they will use leaves or flower petals to lay their babies in and then they'll wrap them up snug. I will post links down below on learning more about our leaf cutters. But I wanted Nina to show you how we harvest and extract all of the cocoons from our leaf cutter blocks. So, so we have these prongs over here that we line up each cell to and they just very gently slide them out in little tubes and it's very gentle on them and it cleans it all the way and they come out in these perfect little tubes just like that so leaf cutter bees are our summer bees they emerge when temperatures reach about 77 degrees and mason bees are our spring bees. So you can do one of each bee. You can either do masons or leaf cutters, or if you wanna do both bees, you can do the pollinator package that comes with mason, spring bees, and summer leaf cutter bees. And we have instructional videos on when to swap the blocks from a mason bee block to a leaf cutter block. They're not out at the same time. Mason bee blocks are out in the spring, and then you swap out your blocks and you put your, your summer leaf cutter block in. So we have all sorts of tutorials and videos. I'll post some links down below, um, but we just wanted to show you the process of our beautiful little leaf cutter bees. They are super, they're tinier little bees, and they spin these amazing little leaf sleeping bags. And uh, yeah, I'll post more links below, but thanks for watching about our leaf cutter bees. Bye.